the slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that spitting slow spitting fast Hey guys welcome to this video as you saw from the intro, today we're going to talk about the new Bane plus Faramis pushing of feeding strategy. In this video, I'm going to explain you how to counter the strategy, but before that, we need to know how the strategy actually works. Let's get started. Heroes needed. To make the strategy work, you need 3 heroes. One is Bane which I'm using in this gameplay. Second is Sparamus. Third is Selina. Faramis and Bane is the most important subject of this strategy and Selina is only used for her first skill. How the strategy works Now coming to the main topic, Bane's passive got a bug which helps him to push turrets even without minions. Just trigger his passive and he can take down turrets just with a few basic attacks. Just like this. And with the help of Faramis ult, he can push without minions and take down turrets easily. You must be thinking, then what's the use of Selena? Let me tell you, it's quite hard to walk all the way to enemy tower without being noticed. So to solve that problem, they use Arrival. And as you all know, we can use Arrival on Selena's trap. Selena will just put a trap near the turret so that both Bane and Faramis can easily teleport and push. Don't clear minions or give vision okay. before pushing, you need to wait for enemy minions to cross the tower. By this way, you can easily take down the turret. This strategy truly shows us that this game is not for kills, but for turrets. 
how to counter whenever you notice this three combo page always ask your team to use at least two arrivals why at least two arrivals check this out first As you noticed, even with arrival Gushin can't counter it, if you dive in alone, you'll die for sure. It's all because of Pharmacy's ult, even if you manage to kill them, they'll respawn and target turret only. But due to their AoE skills, you'll take damage and even die just like that Gushin. But if it's more than that one person come for backup, then it'll be easy for them to defend it. Remember to use the arrival one by one so that you can easily extend the duration and waste paramuses out. If you want to counter this strategy with heroes, then always pick tanky heroes in side lanes. As this strategy is only good in side lanes, so you need hot tanky side laners or heroes that got suppressed to chain CC skills like Barret, Lapu, Dragon, Fakito, etc. So that they can easily cout control them and stop them from hitting the turret. Remember, don't think that heroes that can easily clear lanes can counter them. Remember the strategy you don't need minions so heroes like Vendetta, Hayabusa, Change won't work against them. So always pick tanky side laner or chain CC heroes. Now I think you guys can easily counter this strategy. If you guys have any problems make sure to comment down and let me know. Thanks for watching!